Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to read multiple Google Sheets from a spreadsheet in BigQuery. So we will use a BigQuery external table. Let me explain the scenario first. First of all, I have a Google Sheet here. You can see right there. And once I open that, um, here I have multiple sheets. So, so I have sheet one and I have sheet two. And I could have maybe another five, ten or different sheets here as well. But one thing, notice that they are pretty much the same column names or at least uh, let's say if the column names are different but still uh, there is the same data now in this one uh, we have a customer let's say this is a id first name last name address uh, maybe second one uh, has a customer id so i'm going to call it customer id and uh, you ha maybe have a first name in this case uh, but uh, the data is uh, almost a standard data, same columns we have. Now I want to read this uh, both sheets uh, in BigQuery and uh, um, with the BigQuery if I will go right here, this is my data set and uh, if I go and create table here and uh, I can tell like uh, where the data is coming from. So it's coming from the drive and then I have to provide the URI. So I'm going to copy this uh, URI, let's say I should not select the data, I should just uh, provide this much you know so we can take this as is and now I will provide this information here that's my URI and uh, now what I have here uh, this is a Google sheet and uh, that's what I'm going to use but uh, it is uh, it has multiple sheets so so the option here is the only single sheet and then I can actually filter the data from the single sheet uh, let's say if I want to uh, exclude some columns so it does let me do that but it does not let me select uh, sheet one and uh, sheet two and all that. So that's uh, not available. Um, but my goal is to read the all the uh, Google Sheets uh, in this uh, table. So how I can do that? First of all, uh, we are going to play a trick here. We are going to combine the data from these uh, sheets into another sheet and then use that sheet because uh, our BigQuery only supports single sheet here. If I don't give any name here, it's going to always take uh, the first sheet so in this case first sheet is a sheet one here now let's go back here and uh, go to create some uh, we can call it master or consolidator or whatever you want and uh, I'm going to call this one a master maybe that's fine now what we will do here uh, the master uh, we are gonna write a formula so we are gonna say equal sign then I have curly parenthesis here and then I'm going to select the range of those that data. So I'm going to select, let's say, all this data right there. So that's so you can see right there, sheet one, explanation mark, A2, starting from here and going to the D3. And uh, that's all I want. Now put the, there's the colons here, not the, actually, not the colons, but the terminator or you call them. I will show you and actually in the notepad a little bigger so you can see right there. Let me see if I can make this one actually big. Yeah. I can okay so this one right we have this and then go to sheet 2 and then select uh, the data that we would like to place here so sheet 2 and uh, then uh, all that and then close parenthesis now if I will uh, hit enter you can see that I have brought uh, the data from uh, both sheets uh, by using that formula now sheet 1 and sheet 2 but I did not uh, really needed the column name so I didn't bring them now in the master I have the data coming from both sides but if you notice that uh, tomorrow I might have more data so in this case it's only selected uh, this much data now if I want to go ahead and uh, add some more data to it uh, what's gonna happen so we might have a, a record third and uh, maybe test and test and then test and test and if I go to master you will see this uh, record did not show up because we have set that D3 so that means we are bringing the data from till here but we only selected this much data you know so we have to change our formula so instead of saying D3 I'm gonna just remove that uh, d3 from here and then it means go all the way down and get me data now if i hit enter here what happened so it is only bringing some data from the sheet one and then sheet two data is disappeared that's also a problem but it didn't really disappear it went all the way down somewhere 
so we are going to go further down here and uh, almost at the number thousand you can see right there the data is uh, there from the sheet too so this uh, formula we have to kind of tweak it a little bit too. so what we are going to do here i'm going to click right there and instead of uh, just using this formula we are going to write a query so we will say query so in the query and now when you say query it is asking which data set you want to use or data so i already have this data i want to use from both sheets so so if you have three sheets so you will always go ahead and add the, those sheets right here you know with the after the call uh, this the terminator uh, mark uh, symbol then you add the next one okay now it is asking the query next so i'm going to go ahead and provide comma here double quotes and say select star that means i want to select everything all the columns where and uh, now i can uh, actually uh, simple go for that select star and then uh, uh, i will say comma and the header is a zero so then i close the parenthesis small parenthesis hit enter and you see that still it did not solve the problem because uh, it brought the data it has uh, that data here and then if you go all the way to the thousand row and it will show you that data is there but uh, it also have those uh, blank rows in middle so what we can do we can actually use the where clause here and then uh, ignore that so we are going to say select star it means select everything where column one is not null okay so now if i do that see right there it uh, remove those all the values and now it is bringing uh, the right data so you can see right uh, it brought three rows from the sheet one and then it brought uh, these uh, two rows from uh, sheet two i can actually add some more data here test two or test one or whatever and then go further here test and uh, that's it now we go to master and you're gonna see like oh there is another data here coming from the sheet too so let's click here review the formula so you are gonna say equal query then a small parenthesis and uh, then you have sheet one or um, if in your case sheet two or sheet three or whatever then starting point a2 and then you have colon and then the number of columns so let's say in this case if you see d is my column if you wouldn't go all the way let's say you're in your case you want to go you have data till g provide g okay now and uh, then uh, you have uh, this terminator symbol and then uh, you have sheet 2 and you define the range and then uh, you have a curly parenthesis close comma double quotes select start from where column one is not null now in this case uh, let's say uh, if uh, let's say your id is a uh, null okay so now if you go here you see that that is excluded so you want might want to write more formulas like in the where class where say is not null or column two is not null and then uh, you keep going so see right there even uh, now even the id is uh, null it is bringing the data from our sheet so if uh, uh, from here okay so that's what you need to do so probably you will go for all the column and say where uh, uh, column one is not null or column two is not null and keep going and or column three is not null so this is what you will use i will uh, give you this uh, query in uh, description you can just make changes and it will work for you okay now our master sheet is ready and we need to go to the big query and uh, here we are gonna simply go ahead and say master now we will go here and i will call this customer table and uh, i'm gonna actually create the schema by myself instead of auto detect uh, you know i want to give uh, by myself so it is id integer and i can uh, you know name it a little bit uh, here and there what i want maybe and uh, then uh, i will say first name string is fine second then we will go further and say last name and then uh, we'll say address okay and uh, there are some options available if you want to play with them go ahead and take a look now our table is ready we can open it and uh, here we can see the definition we can see the detail and we can see it is coming from uh, this uh, uh, source so that's our google spreadsheet now uh, that's the we didn't provide any range or anything we just want everything coming from the master now if i will go back uh, to the query here i say a new query tab and then uh, it's uh, selecting everything from customer table 
but under the hood is gonna get the data from our master sheet now we are gonna go ahead and run it and you can see that uh, we have uh, extracted the data from multiple sheets uh, in uh, uh, from the Google spreadsheet uh, in our BigQuery. Uh, now, if you want to go ahead, maybe delete some data. Maybe this. Uh, remember that this was uh, uh, number four. We are gonna go ahead and delete. You know, so you can cut, paste, delete whatever, delete row. And maybe here now I want to go number three, and I will say test is success okay and last name is uh, no name and XYZ or TTY so you have this um, go back here run your query again and now you should see that record as well so right there okay and uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, let's say sheet 2 you want to make some changes you can go ahead and delete data you know and uh, insert some new data so it's uh, as long as your master has the formula and everything's come in in that uh, uh, sheet uh, you will be fine it's going to show exactly the same data what you have in master sheet in your table so i thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in next video